he was always one of the most skilled guys on our team. Um, uh, his, his speed um, with the puck and then you know, his hands and his vision was, was off the charts. Uh, you see some of those goals last year he scored are uh, just, just great individual efforts. Uh, so that's what he gave us. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I'm asking you guys because you guys are going to be the ones that are playing. Yeah, I, I would be in favor of it. I, I don't think it would last ten minutes. Um, you know, it barely lasts five minutes most of the time. Uh, I don't know what the stats are right now with how many shootouts there have been um, the past couple of years, but um, we don't find ourselves being in, you know, in a lot of shootouts when we go overtime. To be honest. Hey Seth, who's your favorite non-hockey athlete right now? Wow. Um. I watch a lot of basketball. Um, I don't know. I'm just a, more of a fan of the sport. I don't really have a favorite non. Not that I can think of off the top of my head. Coming up on the, the 10 year anniversary of the Crosby Golden Goal in Vancouver, I'm wondering, as a kid growing up, did you watch that? Did you remember watching that game? Uh, I did. Yeah. I did, yeah. I, I obviously wasn't cheering for. Yeah. For Crosby, I know, but, but uh, do you remember that moment? Uh, I do, I do. Um, I was probably heartbroken uh, at that time, um, but yeah, 2010. So you know, I was uh, at the U.S. program at that time. So I was, I was playing for you know under 17 uh, USA team, um, and so we were all watching that game. It was obviously a, a, an awesome thing to do. Um, obviously, the Olympics is the is the biggest stage in the world, and so um, that was a pretty special moment. Speaking of uh, USA Hockey, like the anniversary of the uh, Miracle on Ice coming up, so we're working on something for it. What does that mean to you as like uh, someone from this country? Just I know it was before your time. But... Yeah, it's it's an, like one of the most iconic moments in USA Hockey history, of course. And uh, I think that that movie is, you know, for kids that obviously myself weren't alive at that moment and that time to go back and you know see what actually happened and um, and every time even to this day I've probably seen it 20 times um, to this day when the clock's counting down from five four three um, and the buzzer go off I still get the chills you know and so um, I can only imagine what it was like being in Lake Placid at that time and, uh, and being there live. You talk about the success of Caleb who signs a new two-year contract. You talk about watching your brother progress and then ultimately signing that two-year contract. Yeah um we work out in the summer every year together, uh, on and off the ice. It's been it's been awesome trying to push him uh, to become better. Uh, he's getting his opportunities in Edmonton. Uh, he's playing a little bit and he's staying up. Uh, I was obviously ecstatic to see that he signed the two-year deal um, there. So you know, anytime uh, you can, you know, the organization can show confidence in him. Uh, that's obviously a big deal for him. And so uh, you know, hoping to continue to grow. I'll I'll be right there with him this summer again, pushing him to become better and. Uh, get bigger, faster, and stronger. Has he opened his wallet yet? <laughs> Has he? Opened? I don't. know, It depends on who. Yeah, he's in Cabo right now for bye week, so maybe he maybe he opened it up a bit. Yeah, him and his girlfriend down there. <laughs>